Let's go over number 1528, shuffle strings. Given a string s and an integer array indices of the same length, uh, the string s will be shuffled such that characters at ith position moves to indices i and the shuffled string. Return the shuffled string. So we have two parameters, uh, a string and an array of integers which represent index. If you look at example one, our string is code lead and our indices array is this over here. And each one represents an index. And what it wants to do is it wants to uh, basically kind of re-index all characters so that we get a output lead code. So if we work with the uh, first, first example, Okay, CE is going to have an index of 4. Okay, let's just do 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So C is 4. I'm going to go here. O is 5. D is 6. 7, I mean E is 7. And it goes L is 0. E is 2, 2, 3, and T. So we get the code like this. Um, it is giving us an index and it wants to basically kind of reorder them. And if you look at the other examples, um, it's, it's the same. And let's get to our solution. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, now let's code our solution. First thing I'm going to do is the car function. So that result is going to be an empty string. So we're going to store our result to an empty string. I'm going to return that later. Return result. And I want to loop through my strings or indices so that I can add specific character at index that's given from the uh, indices array. So for let i is equal to 0 and i is going to be less than indices that length or you can just do s that length is totally up to you um, they're going to have the same number of length and i'm going to want to add to my result string and what do i want to add i want to add the corresponding string at index i so i want s at indices dot index of I. Okay, so we do get our solution. It's pretty straightforward. So what we did was we iterate through our array, indices array, and for each item, what I want to do is I want to well, like later add to my result string. So what I'm doing here is first I'm looking at my indices array and I'm trying to look for index of zero. And at first index, I mean index of I index of i is going to evaluate to 0 in the uh, first run so it's going to look through this array um, and index of 0 is 0 1 2 3 4 right so this is going to evaluate to 4 and it's going to look for string at index 4 which is l and that's gonna push in or add it add it to our result uh, string and when index or when i is equal to 1 it's going to look for 1 and it's going to add e into our result string and it's going to loop through the whole thing and give us our final result so what i'm doing here is i'm using index of to find the first element second element third and so on and so forth and add it to my result now let's go for another solution using arrays so instead of strings i'm going to make a result variable an empty array and this is going to be pretty much the same um, and i'm going to return result so same steps for let i uh, is equal to zero and remember it can be s dot length they have the same length so it doesn't matter but this time i want to add it to um, results array right so what i'm going to do is result at indices at index i and I'm going to set this equal to string at index i. And if you look here, um, what we're only difference is pretty much over here, right? And later we have to use join to convert it to a string. And we do get our result. But if you look at our solution, only difference is what we have over here. So what we're doing is 
we're getting our result array and for that specific index we're setting that equal to string at index i so if i just do a console log of result you can see that first the first iteration is it set uh, 0 1 2 3 4 the fifth element to uh, c and it added o it added d e l and so on and so forth so we're just pushing in our specific character to an index so let's just work with the uh, the first example so this is going to be Four. So at index 4 in our result array, our character is going to evaluate to C, right? So index 4 is going to equal to C. And this is this is what we have. And we'll do that for our um, rest of the uh, length of the string or array that's given. Let's go over our last solution. Um, this is pretty much the same as our second solution, but we're going to re use reduce. And logic is... Um, is, is the same. So we'll return indices dot reduce and we're going to give three parameters our accumulator this is where we're going to store our stuff current value is going to be our current value of the iteration and i is going to be our index and we're going to store it into an array and our logic here will be the same our accumulator member is our array and to that array we're going to um, store the current value current value is the indices that we're given right so four five six seven zero two one three and we're going to set that equal to string at index i and we're going to return accumulator and if you look over here we get pretty much the same thing um but one thing that we have to do is we want to concatenate all the string and convert it to convert this array into a string. So we'll just use join. And this is how we get result. So uh, our accumulator is our array. Our current value represents these numbers, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And i is our index. So when this evaluates to 0, our current value is 4. And our string at index 0 is c. So it's going to set um, fourth or actually the fifth element equal to C, which is index four. 